All right. So it's fall of 22, or we're approaching fall anyway, right at the end of summer, uh, beginning of August. And uh, this video is when to pull your black beans. I did a, uh, a video some few years ago on when to pull your, uh, your kidney beans. And they're very, they're very similar. So, but uh, that video is gone. You know, this is a new account. So um, yeah, you wanna wait until uh you know the holes i guess they're called are like really dried out like dry paper dried out like you see how dried out these leaves are like you want to wait till then and then uh they're pretty much ripe on the vine let's see if i can get one off all right so we got one off get that out of the way oh there we go and uh, see, open them up, and boom, you got your uh, your black beans right there. Some more out of here. It's kind of damp outside. It's starting to drizzle, but it's all good. Definitely not my first harvest, so sorry about that. Let me get that shirt out of here. Boom, there we go. So, this is what they look like. I've already pulled some. And uh, yeah, that's what they look like. And uh, got them out of their holes and they're all dried out. Looks like they just came from the store. So, let's grab another one. So you gotta kind of peel them back. Try to get this right. Can I get it right this time? Or will we epic fail? Boom. There we go. See how that just comes right open. You got these beautiful little beans in there. Your frijos negros. <laughs> I think that's what they call it. Negros frijos? Nah, frijos negros. So. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this harvest. I got a, uh, these I actually grew from organic beans at the grocery store, right? So, well that, not these. So, okay, how I started was the year prior to this one, I went and I got some beans some organic beans from the grocery store because I eat a lot of black beans, same as I did with my kidney beans. And I decided to plant a few. And um, last year I didn't get that many. Um, beans, so I just took the handful that, it's a little larger than a handful, but the ones that I got and I said, you know what? We're going to regrow these since I grew them from last year's harvest and grow them this year. All right. So now I got a pretty nice harvest. Uh, they probably could have been bigger, but um, the tomatoes really took over the spot. So I'll know next year to put um, the tomatoes behind the beans. I thought they were going to grow big like jack and the beanstalk but they didn't <laughs> so but yeah those tomatoes those cherry tomatoes i got they really took over as a matter of fact here goes the cherry tomatoes just pull those out i don't even eat tomatoes like from the grocery store i've never eaten tomatoes from the grocery store but I decide I grow tomatoes all the time. I like to make my own sauce. I grow peppers too. So I uh, decided to eat my cherry tomatoes last year. And they were really, really freaking good. Like I put them in, like I, I kind of roasted them in some butter. I don't really do the salt like that. You know, I think the salt kind of taints flavors. So, 
the natural flavors, but they're really fruity, but you can really smell them. Um, in a dish, like your dish is gonna smell like really fruity, whatever you cook. And um, I don't like to cut them. I like to leave them whole and they're so small that, um, you know, you really don't need to cut them up, but when you don't cut them up and you just kind of cook them, kind of roast them like that and then throw them in your dish, whatever you cook, um, you know, they just kind of pop in your mouth and, you know, they're really flavorful. Tastes much better than anything you'd ever buy at the grocery store. It's nothing like it which is why I started eating tomatoes, but I only eat the tomatoes I've, I've grown. The ones at the grocery store, I just, they always have a weird taste to me. I And plus, I also don't refrigerate my tomatoes. Never refrigerate them. Because when I refrigerate them, then they taste like the grocery store tomatoes. So I never refrigerate my tomatoes that I grow. I tried that and I was like, ugh, it doesn't taste that great. But yeah, I'm. Uh, this is kind of difficult to get these out. But yeah, these beans, like the kidney beans I grew one year, I put those in some chili and phenomenal. It was insane. Like this, when you get them in the grocery store, they just kind of bland. They don't have the same flavor. Like you'll cook at home and you'll be like, oh, these are great. There's nothing wrong with that. Especially like if you're going, if you're like the height, getting dehydrated beans and then you you know you soak them and then you cook them like yeah they're gonna taste really good compared to the canned beans but when you grow your own beans it's crazy the flavor is nuts nuts uh, and like and once again it was kind of it's getting kind of damp outside so I decided to bring these in. That's the reason why they're not just cracking open like usual, but they're definitely ready. So, look at that, filling up already. So, I got all of these to finish going through. Sorry about my little mess right there, but, and uh, I got some more in the yard I gotta bring in, and I'm gonna put these bad boys in some chili. <laughs> So uh, maybe I'll film that and uh, show you my chili recipe with uh, some of my homegrown peppers that I make and you know, we'll, uh, we're gonna eat good. So this is uh, 2022 fall, just before fall of when to pull your black beans. All right, y'all have a good one.